I like to win. But more than anything, I, I can't stand the idea of losing because to me that equals death. In 2009, I set out to make a film about Lance Armstrong's comeback year. Lance, how are you feeling? Nervous, but that's good. I wasn't naive about past doping allegations. Never tested positive. They think he has. He didn't. But I couldn't help but root for the old pro. If I win again, they're not gonna, they can't say that. They cannot. But you can, but. He had lied to me, straight to my face, all throughout 2009. UCI will ban Lance Armstrong from cycling. When the truth came out, I told him he owed me an explanation. After the years and years of just the most amazing denials. And emphatically say, I'm not on drugs. He agreed to sit down one more time. I certainly was very confident that I would never be caught. The gift that he has is his gift as a storyteller. A cancer survivor overcoming the disease comes back and wins. Yeah, they liked that. Even in 1999, steroids showed up in a urine test. So the guy scoured the internet, and we found one that was indeed a cream. cream for a, what we call a saddle sore. Such a huge number of people wanted to believe that they hated anyone who didn't believe. I mean, I'm all for a clean game, but this is ridiculous. He was an immensely intimidating person. You are not worth the chair that you're sitting on. You crossed him, you were doomed. There are people who have really been ruined. Lance wanted to humiliate Frankie, and he wanted to get back at me. From that point on, I was shunned, banned from everybody, and a lot of people, you know, would look at me, shake my hand. That celebrity is what gave him such immense power. Simply, you don't recall just how many times I have to say it. This is not a story about doping, it's a story about power. And the story became hanging on to that power. Let's get to the, the real nature and the real detail of the story. We haven't heard it yet, is the, is, is, is the truth. 